Hey guys, I'm back today to kind of give you a first impressions and like a review on this foundation, um, Lorac Breakthrough Performance Foundation. So I'm going to wear this the whole entire day. You guys are going to see how I apply it, wear it the whole entire day. And I'll just kind of give you some comments at the end of the day, what I thought about it and all that. So um, I'm just going to quickly talk about like this foundation in general. It retails for $39. Um, it's an oil-free anti-aging foundation with SPF 14. So yeah, it says over here, oil-free anti-aging foundation with SMS complex. Um, Lorac is without sulfates, synthetic fragrances, synthetic dyes, petrochemicals, phthalates. The SMS complex helps to counteract the visible signs of aging by supporting natural cell turnover and collagen production, which has been shown to strengthen the skin's texture. This system is designed for all ages and skin types. So basically, I mean, I guess if you're older, this would work really well for you too. I'm not, but I have heard a lot about um, this foundation and I couldn't get my hands on it until I went to LA because they don't sell Lorac at Sephora anymore. I'm not sure about online, but I didn't know my color. So yeah, I have no makeup on as you guys can tell, so don't get too freaked out. Basically $39, so $40 with tax was like $42. Kind of standard higher end foundation. Um, really almost all foundations are kind of in Sephora are kind of the same price. This was not any cheaper. Um, I do like the fact that it has no fragrances and stuff like that. Um, that's always a benefit. And I do like the pump because you can kind of tuck it in and it's not messy everything is sealed airtight in here which I really like and then you just kind of twist it in the pump you know pops up so I'm gonna be using my beauty blender um, I already wet my beauty blender and I let's get started let's see what this is about okay so I put two pumps the foundation on here kind of dab it a little orangey I realized um, actually that it all of the foundation had a bit of a yellow tint to them so if you're more of a pink tint if you're a cool tone you might have trouble finding a color for yourself that was just in my okay so definitely um First impression. A lot doesn't go a long way because I did two do two pumps and I haven't even gotten to the side of my face. And um yeah, so this is I'm definitely gonna have to do more than two pumps with this because um it just so yeah, I usually do more um, I usually do two pumps with foundation with all foundations, so I kind of don't like the fact that I have to do more than that, especially since my skin isn't very um, problematic. So you would think it could cover, but it doesn't. It doesn't really, it just kind of stays in one place. Um, it hides redness fairly well. This is something that I definitely think is like a buildable, oh my god, I have the hugest like mosquito spider thing what in the world literally on my windowsill right now it's so freaky it's in my house oh my god I don't even know if I should kill it it's so big this is the third pump and the third pump definitely um, covered my forehead and all the other stuff this is definitely light to medium coverage it's not gonna it's not going to cover every single red spot. Um, blends in fairly well into my skin. I wouldn't say it's perfect. It's a little bit yellow. But this was literally the closest match to my color. So, and I have a pretty uh, yellow undertone. I have a pretty, like yellow based tone so for this to be a little yellow on me is a little crazy because I have a very very warm coloring okay so 
that is that. I'm not going to put any powder on and I will be right back with my full face of makeup. I'm back and I have just my regular daily makeup on and I'm sorry, I'm just looking in the mirror but I just want to kind of comment on how the foundation sunk into my skin. Um, it's giving me a very glowy appearance. Now, not in an oily way. I find that a lot of foundations give you the glowy appearance but it's like this oily mess and my skin's already kind of oily combination so I don't want it to be greasy looking now I haven't put any powder on my face I just kind of put um, you know bronzer blush things like that regular things but the glow that is coming from my face is amazing it's I completely understand why it's kind of anti-aging because it does give you like this fresh glow from within that I really haven't seen in a foundation. The only one that I found was kind of similar um, finish was the YSL, YSL Tint Radiance um, that had kind of a similar finish to it. So that is what it looks like right now and I am going to wear it throughout the day and check back with you a little bit later on. Right now it's I'm gonna get all, it's Judy time right now, but <laughs> um, right now it's one o'clock and yeah, so I'm gonna wear it for a few hours and kind of check back with you and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm back with my update and it is currently 4.34. Um, I've been wearing this for the past three and a half hours and so far, I am getting a little bit oily, but honestly where I'm getting oily is where I put my concealer, not where I put my foundation. So I put my concealer here, um, around my nose because I have red area there. I, I put a little bit here because my chin always gets red, and I put it underneath my eyes. So that is the areas that are getting oily, but the foundation itself, I feel like, is really nice. It's set in really beautifully into this satin glowy finish, which I like. I don't want to be too matte. That's just not something it makes, I feel like it makes you look, well me, it makes me look a little more like I have stuff on my face. Um, a little bit of a dewier look is more natural but obviously not oily. I do like this, this is covering up my red rather nicely, it's wearing well. I like it and I'm surprised because I haven't put any powder on, I usually always always wear a powder on top of my uh, foundation. So, so far so good and it keeps my, my blushes still on, which is great. So yeah, I'll check back in with you at the end of the day. Hey guys, so this is me checking in. It's like 9 o'clock already. I have been laying around, you know, whatever, doing things, but um, lasted pretty well. Um, comparing to the fact that I haven't put any um, powder on my skin and my skin is oily, so this did last pretty well. Um, my T-zone is getting a little bit oily, definitely. Um, I feel like if I do end up using this product more, I will put um, powder on top of it, but I do love the finish. I love the fact that it stayed on my face. It is long lasting. Everything that I covered up, all the red spots, everything has not shown through, which I'm very, very excited about. I do think that it is a satin finish. You like it. That's my final opinion is I do definitely really like it. It has um it it has it has lasted really well for me. And I love the glowy finish. I still have like that, that glow from within kind of look um which is really great because it's been definitely a good amount of time since I put it on. So my skin does my skin doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel really too cakey. I'm like trying to move around my face just to see how it feels. Commend it for people who have a drier skin tone. I feel like you would be able to maneuver it a little bit better than I did. But overall, the glow that it gives you, the fact that there's no like really bad chemicals in here, um, they have subtracted a lot of like the problem chemicals from this product is definitely A+. plus. The packaging is A+. plus. And for my skin, I give this finish and the wearing power the wet the wearing power of it i give it a b
So that's pretty good. Um, I am a harsh critic. So yeah, um, let me know if you guys tried it out, what foundations you think I would like. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys.